It was more years ago than I care to name that I hit the heights of hip-hop fame. I was the doctor of verse, the magician of word. I was the voice operator, the best you ever heard. I was the tip-top hip-hopper. There's no catch. As a matter of fact, I was a natch for scratch. All I had to do was say any old crap and I made it rhyme and I'd call it rap. <laughs> Talking about me was my greatest passion, but it doesn't bring the cash in now that bragging's out of fashion. My washed up hip-hop act's been scratched. My sneakers are worn and my jacket's patched. My DJ found some place else to go and nowadays my agent just don't want to know. But all I have to do is dream and then check it out. I'm in love with Mia again. All the other suckers just fail the test. I'm the meanest, I'm the coolest, I'm the baddest, I'm the best. Every other motherfucker is just the dregs. And I'm the best thing on two legs. Well, I was the cat that the losers loathed when they saw how hickly I was clothed. I made those poets all go green because I sound so good and I dress so mean. But the neatest feature that I did the most is neat sweet me. And that's no boast in the dressing room. My biggest bliss is gazing at the mirror, blowing kisses. <laughs> You pick your style, you pick it off a shelf, but I'm the word wizard, I'm the style itself. I'm so cool, you just can't stand it. I shoot you down, I'm a hip-hop bandit. Everywhere I go, I've got an amigo, because my best friend is my own ego. My only problem, and this is the worst, is when the women start fighting, trying to get to me first. I've got the keenest penis, it's the meanest in the world. <laughs> Got schlong so long I have to keep it curled. Talk to my tailor, the man will vouch that I keep it in a tailor-made golden pouch. But enough of that topic, though you know it's hypnotic, because my whole body is just as erotic. If I gave you a description of my fine construction, it might take a week, just the introduction. But nowadays people haven't got the time to gaze at me and wonder and to hear my rhyme. And the thing that's tough, the thing that grieves me, is I say all this stuff. And no one believes me. <laughs> you know, it hurts my pride. It puts a crease in my brow because the audience rapture ain't so rapturous now. Even superstars can start to lose their nerve when we can't get the psychophancy we deserve. It was good to be bad. It was nice to be naughty. But now I'm a has-been with a UB40. I was paid in full. I was paid up plenty. But now I'm paid off and touching 20. <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays my call feels more like a chill and when they say let's get ill, I just get ill and when they say let's get ill, I get ill some more and when they say let's get ill, I get ill on the floor I get ill, I get ill, I get ill, I get Ill on the floor <laughs>